the final race of day one already then it's the Fred Winter Juvenile Novice Hurdle and this one is a handicap of course is 0 to 140 for the four year olds and the top one is Newlands for Paul Road Charmaine entry for Mike Westwood Paperweight Finder David Robertson Bally Took will be following on Bold Highlander Martin Needham Classy David Hooley Practice James Shea Nigella Lawson Paul Rhodes Dixie's Toon be following on Wait and See Craig Beckwith Albert Dora Casbar Thomas Rogers Ruby Swirl Alex Cherry Thunder Queen James Shea Moving Gwear Ryan Costello Blizzard Kilroy Dan Hughes Eliner Avery Alex Cherry Zone Zero Graham Clutterbuck Terrible King Thomas Rogers A Needle Pin Ryan Costello and Bonfire Schwill Dan Hughes Big field for this one then called in and away they go and moving Gwear and Bonfire Schwill look like they're going to be the two to dispute the in as they get to the first of the seven flights they've got to negotiate in this juvenile handicap hurdle which rather takes the shine away from the triumph for me because most of these would have to go in the triumph and you normally get a big field in that and um, looking at the card for later in the week I don't think there's a that big a field for the triumph hurdle so moving Gwear in the lead then from Bonfire Schwill in second as they get to the first which will be the last next time round and they're all safely over it with moving Gwear in the lead and the liner Avery and Bonfire Schwill then comes a needle pin and Bally Tuck and then Newlands as they make their way past the big screen and moving Gwear leads by about two lengths to a liner Avery in the second Bonfire Schwill and then a needle pin then comes Ruby Swirl after that one a bit of a gap to Bally Tuck and uh, then Newlands, Bold Highlander on the inside is next. And then Wait and See and Thunder Queen running together with Zone Zero wide on the track as they get to the second, which they all get over. And Terrible King is just about the back marker at this stage of the race. But Moving Gwear is set at a pretty stiff pace at the moment and leads by a good two lengths to Bonfire Schwill as they get over number three. A Needle Pin is third. And a bit of a gap to Eliner Avery and Ruby Swirl, stable mates together, then Bally Took as they get over number four, and suddenly there's only three more flights to take. And moving Guerre and Bonfire Schwill disputing the lead with a needle pin between the two of them. Gap of three or four, then back to Ruby Swirl and Eliner the Avery, then Bally Took, and then Newlands and Bold Highlander, and then Thunder Queen and Paperweight Finder. Wait and see is next. Dixie's Toon trying to make a forward move as well, then practice Nigella Lawson also trying to creep into it. Charmaine Entry is getting close as well as they get over the third from home and Terrible King is still the back marker but it's Bonfire Schwill who's now in front by a length. Bonfire Schwill to moving Gwer and a needle pin. Gap back to Elina Avery and Ruby Swill together. These leading three though there to be shot at at the moment. There's six furlongs to go and the three of them are virtually in a line. The Alex Cherry pair are chasing and then Bold Highlanders after that one. Then comes Bally Tuck and Newlands and Thunder Queen and they race down towards the final two flights then now and it's Bonfire Schwill moving Gwer and a needle pin. Ruby Swill and Bold Highlander, then Elina Avery and Bally Took these are clear of Thunder Queen and Paperweight Finder trying to run on as they come down towards the second last and over that one they go and Needle Pin landed in front from Ruby Swirl is now caught up on the outside of Moving Gwear then comes Elina Avery, Bold Highlander is trying to get into it still and Paperweight Finder is really beginning to find, find some pace now but it's a Needle Pin there's just one more fly to take and a Needle Pin is a length clear of Elina Avery and Ruby Swirl then Moving Gwear, Terrible King has come from absolutely nowhere in the grey also Bally Took and Bonfire Shrill coming down towards the final flight and Needle Pin looking like it might only have to jump but it's three lengths clear but now Ruby Swirl starts to go into overdrive and Ruby Swirl has swept past over the final flight and it's Ruby Swirl who's burst into the lead Bally Took is running on so too's moving where but it's Ruby Swirl Ruby Swirl is two three lengths clear Ruby Swirl from Bally Took in second moving where trying to run on but Ruby Swirl's going to take it up towards the line it's going to be Ruby Swirl that takes it's a day one double for Alex Cherry Ruby Swirl the winner Blizzard Kilroy came from nowhere to be second Alvadora Casbar finished like a train as well and Alex Cherry flying the flag for the handicap trainers with his second winner on day one of the Cheltenham Festival right up there with the big guns and a really good win there Ruby Swirl takes it massive prices for the first four and Ruby Swirl takes it for Alex Cherry. Dan Hughes got second with Blizzard Kilroy. Moving Gwear for Ryan Costello was third. Bally took for B. Fotheringham in his first season was fourth. Albadora Casbar for Thomas Rogers was fifth. 
So a really exciting finish and one or two trainers that you don't normally see in the top five at the Cheltenham Festival there. But Alex Cherry, second winner on day one. What a good way to end the first day of the Cheltenham Festival. So at the end of day one then, it's three wins for Joshua Sutherland, three wins for Craig Allen, two for Leon Van Rensburg as well, and then one apiece for Darren Thompson, Ryan Tamasebi, and Graham Clutterbuck. So there's your 13 races for day one then, and we'll be back for a few more tomorrow.